Alrighty, welcome gentle gamers. Turns out that I am taking another stab at the Edge of Night Singleton event using my black and blue zombie deck. This is the first deck that I've ever made with snow-covered lands in it so that I can use that snow-covered lands blue-black boss dude. I've got Ludovic Necro Genius. I invested in the, the Liliana Planeswalker out of Strixhaven. Professor Onyx. Well, here's not the ideal draw. How did I end up with four snow colored islands? And I got more swamps in the deck than islands. Well, there's the swamp I needed. Do I kill him? They've got a pretty good start here with their Vorpal Sword. I've got a Defenestrate that I could use to kill another creature. You may notice my cool Halloween werewolf and a pumpkin. I had fun on Halloween carving myself a uh, Magic the Gathering themed pumpkin. I did the pumpkin from Festival Crasher. You can see it uh, if you go to my Twitter. I'm T3DY. Oof. Well, I'm definitely going to be happy to wipe out another one of their creatures with this Defenestrate. Ooh, and I've got a Jawari Disruption. That might be a nice surprise counterspell. I'm going to need another Swamp if I want to cast Dracolich. Excuse me, i got to mute for a second. Still holding up a counter spell. Wouldn't it be fun to counter something? Or do I want to put out my siege zombie right now to have a blocker? Death Priest of Merkel is a nice zombie lord. Well, I don't want to get hit by that Zor Vorpal Sword, but it does cost a lot. would love to hear your opinions about cards you think don't belong in this deck, cards you think that do. It's a blue-black zombie-themed deck. 
I don't know if zombies are really the strongest thing to put in a blue-black deck these days. Yeah, it's good to get Professor Onyx out now because I can make them sacrifice their creature. Do you want to pay X life right now? You do, huh? Got you down to two. I was hoping that I would eventually get Professor Onyx in one, some, one of my Strixhaven drafts. You can see on my feed that I've done a lot of Strixhaven drafts, but I never did pull her. So with all of these wild cards I got lying around, I finally invested in that one. I also invested in the black lesson that lets you uh, get a planeswalker out of the graveyard. Oh, here is Valentine, Dean of the Vine. Or is that Valentine, Dean of the Vein? Valentin, Dean of the Vin. I'm not sure how to pronounce that. Valentine, Dean of the Voin. Now, all I need is something that drains two life. Do I even have anything like that? Oh, cast or copy an instant spell. got a Dracolich that I can fly over with on my next turn. And can I just cast it? Oh no, that, that would have to be a land, huh? I should have done that before. I could have just casted a... Uh, cast in an instant. Oh well. Hopefully I don't die. Gotta hold up a blocker so he can't... Oh no, he's got Menace. Oh darn it, if I lose this game, I'm gonna be very unhappy. I feel very silly. Well, they've, oh, they still need eight to use the, uh, well, shoot, I might lose this game because I made a dumb mistake and I forgot that Professor Onyx has that Magecraft ability and I could have searched for that village rights. Darn it, darn it, darn it. Well, an interesting game nevertheless, a fun one to get on video and record some of my dumb mistakes. And they conceded, even though they had me. That's wild. Well, thanks for watching. I gotta go stop right now and go attend to something in my life and, uh, Hopefully I'll be back on before too long with another video. You're watching the MTG Greybeard, a regular guy who makes a lot of dumb mistakes at magic cards.